Within this episode, we're going to be discussing methods that credit card providers could use to make more profit from customers like Elias. A question such as this would attract 10 marks. So what possible arguments could we make? Well, credit card providers may choose to put less money into research and development of new products and or services. However, with the increasing competition, providers are increasingly required to launch new, innovative solutions. Credit card providers may consider charging more interest on Elias' balance. However, he may switch to a competitor who offers a lower interest rate or give customers an interest-free period. Credit card providers may decide to charge Elias a monthly fee for their use of their credit card. However, this may encourage him and customers like him to transfer their balances to other credit card providers that do not charge a fee. Credit card providers may consider reducing the amount of freebies or incentives they offer to customers. However, this would disincentivize customers to apply for credit cards with them. Credit card providers could make profit from cross-selling products to existing customers like Elias through mortgages, life insurance or home insurance, etc. Offering a no-penalty APR could attract a greater number of applicants for credit cards. This would give the provider a greater chance of making profit from customers in the future. Giving all customers their best and rep most representative APR rate could attract a greater number of applicants for credit cards. This would give the provider a greater chance of making profit from customers in the future. Offering a greater amount of incentives may be another way to make more profit. Air miles, nectar points and other incentives to potential customers could attract a greater number of applicants. This would give the provider, once again, a greater chance of making profit from customers within the future. Offering a shorter interest-free period would mean that customers would have to start paying interest on outstanding balances sooner. However, this may dissuade customers from applying for credit cards with a particular provider in the first place, and or encourage customers to transfer their balance sooner. Providers could also offer applicants a larger credit limit. This could attract a greater number of applicants and give the provider a greater chance of making profit if customers get into more debt, which of course they have to pay interest on. However, this could be seen as unethical, which may attract negative media attention. Credit limits may also be determined by credit history. Rather than offering 0% APR on both balance transfers and new purchases during the promotional financing period, credit card providers may instead choose to just offer 0% APR on one of these. This is a way they can get customers to start paying a higher rate of interest sooner. Credit card providers could also charge a very high penalty interest rate for customers who fail to make at least the minimum payment. Credit card providers could charge a very high late fee for customers who fail to make at least a minimum payment. Credit card providers could have a better level of customer satisfaction and customer service compared to competitors. This is likely to increase the likelihood of customers continuing to use their card even once the no interest period ends. That said, developing a reputation for excellent customer service may require significant levels of expenditure on both staff training and advertising. Credit card providers could seek to increase the amount they charge in merchant swipe fees when purchases are made. However, the provider American Express generally charges higher merchant swipe fees. As a result, many merchants actually have chosen not to accept American Express as a form of payment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when future videos are released. You may also wish to support the channel by buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.